Hi everyone and welcome to another video by Excel Tips. In this video, you will see how to convert an Excel column or a data in an Excel column to comma separated values like this. There can be many scenarios where you might want to convert an Excel column to comma separated list. For example, if you want to send this data to a SQL query, there are multiple methods to convert this Excel column into this comma separated list but we will demonstrate one of the quicker and the simpler methods using the concatenation formula now this method can also be used for any data method not only commas so you can use this method with semicolons pipes etc and we will also look at how to achieve that so let us now jump right into it so let us now start by having a look at look at the values that we want so we have values in column A and it starts from in cell A2 and goes all the way to A41. We to convert these values which are there into a comma separated list. So we can do that very quickly in a two step process. The first step we will go to the first uh, column, uh, first row, and in B2 we will just type the formula A2. So what it does it just copies the value here and in the next cell or the cell just below b2 in b3 we will type the concatenation formula so we'll say concatenate the so concatenate b2 comma and then you can put in the delimiter of your choice which is in this scenario we are using a comma so open double quotes comma close double quotes then we will put in comma and we will Click on A3. So we are concatenating B2 with the delimiter and with A3. So now let us close the braces and see how it works. And we see that it has worked. It is now here. We see the concatenation of the values. Now, what I need to do is simply double click on the corner and it will fill all the way through. The value that we are interested in so we, if you see there are a lot of values here but the value that we are interested in is only in the last column so we just need to copy go to the last one which a41 we go to the corresponding cell b41 and we say Control c and we go here and instead of doing a control v we will con uh, instead of con uh, pasting directly pasting we will paste as values if we paste as values we do not get the formula but we get the data that's what we are interested in so there you see now what you have seen is we have now been successfully able to convert all the values into a comma separated we also talked about using the same technique to use it for any delimiter so let's quickly look at that. So here, going back to cell B3, I will now replace the comma with a pipe delimiter, just for an example, and then hit enter. Now what I will do is I will just double click, and it will now, same thing, go to the last column, last row, copy it, go here, and paste as values. And as you can see here, we have all the values which are now showing up as pipe D. So, as you can see, in a few very simple steps, we have been able to convert the data in an Excel column into a comma separated or any delimiter separated values. So, if this video was useful to you, do hit the like button. It helps us create more helpful videos like this. Thank you and have a wonderful day.